Yellow, back uh, back at you here in the uh, dungeon, Mr. Hamilton's uh, basement. And um, we don't have any windows, but we have plenty of trig uh, examples to keep us busy. So this is exciting. This is our last lesson before we take a short assessment. Um, our assessment will be on Delta Math. It'll be on the same stuff we've been looking at. So no need to uh, be scared. It's all the practice that leads up to it. Um, today, what I'd like to do, you guys, is do more of the same as our last lesson. We want to do this. We want to graph trig functions. And to do that, there's two things we need to do. One, we're going to write down these features. We'll talk more about those. Two, we're going to plot our points. And we'll talk more about those by setting the scale and, and going through our pattern here. So today's level of is called level two. The reason why it's a bit spicier is you're going to see some midlines that uh, are not y equals zero. And so instead of us counting up and down from the uh, x-axis, we'll count up and down from where the new midline is. So let's take a peek here. So our first problem that I want to do with you guys is y equals 6 sine 2x plus 1. Again, we talked about what we do first. We write down features. So we're going to write down the amplitude of this. Amplitude is that number out in front is 6. The midline of this is this number here. So y equals 1 would be our midline. It occurs at 1. And then our period. Remember how we find our period? We take 2 pi and we divide that by the frequency. Frequency is the number right here, right in front of x. So if we do that, we simplify this here. These pi's, I mean these 2's cancel. The period of this problem is pi. Okay, so these are important features. We're going to use these to find our highs and lows. We're going to use these to find our midline or our origin. And we are going to use the period to set our scale over here. So before we can plot our, plot our five points, we're going to set our scale. Most of the time, you guys, I set this y-axis at 1. I mean, we could set it at 2. It goes up and down 6 units. I have no problem counting up 6 units here. You can always change it, too, by the way. Our x-axis label here has to do with what our period is. So make sure we set that according to our period. Remember, what we want is one complete cycle. And there we go. We're going to drag this period to our fifth point, starting with our first point at the origin. So 0, or sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep in mind where our midline is. In this case, our midline is not y equals 0. It's y equals 1. So it's right here. I'm going to leave my cursor here for a second. So one other thing we want to talk about is this particular curve is the sine curve. Okay, so sine over here starts, it goes origin high, origin low, origin. And these origins, remember, those are like your midlines. So it starts at the midline, goes high, through the midline to low, and then back at the midline. Those are your five points. So we got to find our midline here. Our midline is y equals 1, and we're starting here on the y-axis. So we're going to start right at the midline. Now from here, my next point, I'm going to use the amplitude because it's supposed to go to a high value. Our amplitude would be 6 units up from the midline. So if the midline's at 1, 6 units up would be 7. And as I move the next unit to the right, it goes back through the midline. Now we're going to move six units down from the midline. So I move to the right one. I'm going to count down six units. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to finally end back on the midline or the origin. Voila! After you put that fifth point down, it draws your curve. Hit submit. You're good to go. So we do want a little bit more practice here today. Our practice is um, all based off of the last couple of weeks using the features, using what we know about the pattern for sine and cosine, and then setting our scale. So please reach out to us at our Google Hangouts if you guys need some help. We're going to do a few practice set problems here on this practice set. Please go to your Delta Math and do that, and that will put us in a good shape for our uh, assessment. So. Uh, until later, friends, stay clean, wash your hands, disinfect your phones, and most importantly, be kind.